and ripped a right a path right through down the creek. Are you serious? No. When? About two or three years ago. Okay, a tornado ripped through here? Uh -huh. yeah. That's why all the trees look like. I was wondering about that. Our I was thinking, damn, was this place got wiped out or something? Well, a lot of trees were knocked down. There were trees right up here next to the house that were all gone. Uh, Tell them about the tornado that hit the house when me and you was in it, Mom. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what an ostrich looks like, Jim? An ostrich? Yeah. Well, Mama looked like an ostrich that day. She, she was in the back of the house with her head up under a bed, screaming bloody murder. Was she? I was not. You were? And I went back there to look for her, and you had your head stuck up under her bed, and you couldn't get no further up under there. if my surfboard was going to get sucked away with the tornado. And you were looking and at I went back to look for you. And you were hoping the boat would go because you were going to get a new boat. <laughs> and uh, a big noise went over our head and it sounded like a big train, train or locomotive going overhead and took the roof off our house. Really? Not, not to where you could see daylight. So but uh, I was standing there in the rain. I was just standing there and the rain was coming down on top of me. It and ripped off the roofing material and it dumped rain down up into the, uh, the ceiling tiles and it just came soaked down into the floors. And what, what year was this? 72. 72. And me and mom was home. And mom was back there. I went looking for her and she was trying to dig her way up under a bed. Well, uh, I had Michelle. Michelle was baby. And I had already gone to the uh, Gulf Breeze and got the mail. And I was sitting in the car reading my mail when uh, I noticed that everything was still. There wasn't a sound, nothing. And all of a sudden, the wind came up and blew my car door open real hard and started, the trees were going never which way, and I grabbed Michelle and ran in the house. And uh, that's when, uh, it was about five minutes later, I guess, uh, when it got, uh, this noise went over and took the roof and landed all the way across the street in the neighbor's yard. Well, it didn't, it didn't take the whole roof, just the, the tar paper. Tar paper. It's got the rocks and the tar paper, etc. Yeah, I played for Korea the first time in 1952, uh, I guess it was. In late 52. We go over there for a year. Then we left there and then moved to Hawaii, where we were on the, uh, on the island of Oahu in Hawaii for there for about two years in the 25th Division. And then went back to Korea again in 1963, uh, uh, I guess it was, 60, early 63 and 64. Okay, you, when was you in Korea the first time? 52? 52. That, that was like when it was just peacekeeping forces, right? Yeah, the war was just, 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 just wrapping up. The war was just ending. Where was 
Happy camper right 